Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. This is um, part two of uh, Bressingham Steam Museum. Hope you enjoyed part one, that was as much as I did. I love walking around these places. Um, yeah, so uh, see what we can find in part two. Probably do a few more train rides, a bit more on the gallopers. And let's go, see you soon. It's coming around now, folks. Here she come. Isn't that brilliant? If I can keep up with it. <laughs> Here goes the freight train. This mail train, folks. I didn't realise you can actually get on board it, so get your on board footage. Send it. <laughs> well, there we go. Look, these uh, the mail bags already look. How cool is that? Check it out, folks. All the mail bags. And my right side, we have got all where all the letter box, all the little pigeonholes. That's all the letters there, look. All ready to go. I can't get any further than this, but I shouldn't be doing it, but <laughs> have a look. Going for September 1990 on that one. 20 pence. It's about a pound for a um, postal letter now, or something like that. At least a pound, I reckon. You know, so there's all the letters all lined up, ready to go. Great, um, great display. Brilliant. There's more sorting pigeonholes here now, look. These have got, um, he's got letters in folks, look, another one. Dr White Esquire, 46 Pembrokeshire, Pembrokeshire Mews, London. 1999. Hmm. So the train would be moving along and you've got the, um, you got a little seat there where people would be, workers would be sorting out the letters as they go along. Marvellous. Good stuff. Let me go down. Here comes the train now, folks. Here we go, folks. We're getting on the uh, on the train. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're off, folks. Oh. 
I love a train down there. Um, train ride. Yeah. It's fantastic, this is. I could do this all day long. I hope you enjoyed that folks, that was uh, on the bigger train, on the bigger train, the Fen Railway. Look at that, that's some noise. Look at that. That's pretty, that's pretty hot in there. <laughs> That's brilliant. Fantastic stuff. We're going on our third train now, folks. Um, on train number three folks all aboard I'm 
the other train now, folks. Now it's on the other tracks now, look. Uh -huh. How cool is that, eh? Quite up with the other train, look, that's brilliant, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. Bridge then, folks. <laughs> How you doing, folks? Hope you're enjoying the uh, little train ride with me. It's a brilliant day out. If you're ever in the area, come to Brescia. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But yeah. Choo choo. Join your flock, folks. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I think I'll call that on camera, folks. I do apologize about that. Beware dinosaurs uncaged. <coughs> Get some beans. Okay. I think we're back home, folks. I'll go over there in a minute and check that out. I haven't been over there yet. Well, folks, that was um, that engine we just came off is actually handmade by volunteers and down to scale as well. Right, I'm going to find out how you get in here because there's some more stuff here to see. I just crossed the tracks. Now, folks, they've got a um, little arcade here. Look at that clown. Look at these little mini pinball tables. How cute are they? Oh, wow. Tiny. Very cool. And uh, play to smash crockery. That's very therapeutic, I reckon, folks. <laughs> Six balls to two pounds. Come and have a smashing time. <laughs> Brilliant. I could never tire of watching this. Absolutely brilliant. Can't play your horn. Hey, nice one, pal. Have a go near. Have an old, uh, have an old logo here. We can go up there and have a look inside. Oh, look at this, folks. Wow, this is cold. <laughs> 
This is Mavis. Mavis is not a steam engine, she has a powerful diesel engine inside that makes her move. Oh, this is dedicated for children, look. The wheel. All aboard. Choo choo. Haha. <laughs> You're gone. So we get it with rain if it rain up. I don't think there's much chance of rain today, folks. Anyway, let's go down. I think I found a signal box. Good. Oh, look at this. Look at this beast. Wow. My God, look at that. I think it's the one they run at the weekends. This is full size. Absolutely full size, folks. This one doesn't look like it's been running for a while. Covered in dust and rust. Amazing. That is huge. That's huge compared to what I just rid on. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That'd be giant or exhaust pipe or something there. Amazing. Fantastico. Let's look at the logo shed before we go. Yeah, there's another logo in there. Another logo out there in here. There's a Southern 662. L&B and CR, SCR Terrier A1X Class Martello. Built in 1875 at Brighton Works. There we go. There we go. Look at that, folks. That's inside. That's fascinating. Yeah, look at that. Awesome, hey? Let's get to the front of the train. I wish I could go in there and film. Uh. You got the preparation pit there, look. Pit like an MOT, like, like an MOT, um, like an MOT pit for a car, sort of thing. Hoist and trolley, hoist and God knows what, yeah, look. Wow. That's pretty damn cool. I'm going to take you into uh, a signal box now. This is o Oakington. Oh, cool, look at this. Hey, Chris Leon will love this. He's had a old signal box back in the day. Yeah, Leon would love this, mate. Wow. Looks like an old mangle, but I don't think it is. <laughs> The lever tail 
inside the box, the alternator flag wheels. I think there's supposed to be a video going on. It's not playing. The space of the lead away, these wheels carry wires and different signals and may be mounted one above the other. On the lead away, the wire runs fast towards the signal. Boy, there, isn't it? The wire is supported and guided by pulleys fixed to stakes. Still people still people queuing for the train. This is a metal tube in the first. Now the first may be wood or lattice steep. The wire from the foot of the first. Look at each of the gallopers. Directly to the signal at near the box or to a lever fixed to the first. This lever, called a balance lever, has a weight on it. I recommend any come anyone coming here for on holiday in this area. Or if they're local to this area. Brilliant. Good food if I'm here for the cal for the calibers, folks. Oh, folks. I hope you enjoyed that uh, look around Bressingham and that. Really had a great time today. Absolutely fantastic, Obi. Absolutely top off the shelf that was today. Brilliant. Well, if you like my video or other videos I've got on my channel, come with that. Please like and subscribe. Um, so I was spent the day at Bresleyham Steam Museum and Gardens. It's uh, in Dis, which is the Norfolk Suffolk border. So if you um, want to come round or come down, have a look round, um, come down. It's well worth a day out. So I'll put um, put a link in the description of uh, the, of Bresham Steam Museum and Gardens in the link. So uh, anyway, wrapping this vlog up now. I'll go home. Other stuff to do. Loads of more editing. <laughs> Never ends. Anyway, um, just hit the like uh, notification bell if you like more videos like this. So I'll let you know on that note and I'll show um bid you goodbye from Brittingham Steam Museum and Gardens in Dish. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. Bye bye.